This simple infeed support is one of the handiest things for a table saw and it's very easy to make. There's just a bracket here, some cork, some slippery tape there, and a toggle. When I've got a large float like this, the problem is it does that. But if I clip on my handy, then I'm good. Same with the cross-cut sled. And what I like is I can move right into the rail, but if I had a big infeed table, I would have to be having to work like this. And over at this end, it's even handy for ripping when you've got a big piece of material to work with. I started with this piece of three-quarter inch thick Baltic birch. The reason for these dimensions is simply because this was the only scrap of Baltic birch I had left, and it seemed about the right size, 19 inches by 7 inches by 4 inches, but that's totally arbitrary. And on one side I attached a sheet of Formica with contact cement according to the instructions, and then trimmed around the edge with a router bit. The Formica is not necessary, you could simply wax the surface of the Baltic birch and that would be fine. I'll clean off with methyl hydrate. This is 2 inch by 2 inch angle aluminum, 1 8 inch thick. I just cut it with a hacksaw and filed the edges soft. Then I've got this 3M double sided tape that's used for hanging stuff on the wall, so it's very strong. I'm going oversized and then I'll trim it off. Okay, and peel off the backing and then apply this rubberized cork. I think I'll press that down with a block of wood. Then I can trim off the tape and the cork all at once. I got my aluminum bracket with the cork wedged in here. Put a little piece of cardboard there so that I can position the support on here with a small gap and then clamp it. I'm drilling pilot holes through the aluminum into the plywood so that it'll align the bracket properly. Wood screws would be the usual way to attach a bracket to a piece of wood, but I like machine screws. So I'm, I've drilled and I'm tapping these holes. I'll only put in two screws to start with because I may have to shim this up or down to get it even with the table. I don't want to scratch this surface with the metal, so I'll be putting some slippery tape on here when I'm done. In the meantime, I'll just put a piece of paper, and that'll represent the thickness of the tape, as well as protect this surface. So with my plastic card collection, I've figured out I need to shim off 70 thou. So there's a recess routed the same thickness as the plastic cards. This is ultra high molecular weight, very tough and slippery. I'm just cleaning this surface with methyl hydrate so I get good adhesion. I've got the infeed support wedged to the rail and now I'll clamp this toggle under here to get it in the right position. And I've got this piece screwed all the way in so that if I need to make it tighter I'll just screw it out. Get that in about the center. Wood screws would be perfectly fine to secure the toggle, but I'm going to try these things. Now I can adjust this threaded thing here to get the right tight distance, and in here is a little uh, tension bolt. So let's see how it works. I can bring it right out here without it falling off the table. And yet I can still move in close to work, whereas a full-size infeed table, I'd be leaning over. So that's very handy. 